You're watching WGPR Channel 62 in Detroit, the first black-owned and operated television station in the United States. At this time, we will leave the air due to technical adjustments and maintenance to our transmitter site. Thank you for watching Channel 62. What's CBS this morning? Some TV show. It's supposed to be good. Are you going to watch it? I'm not going to watch it. You watch it. I'm not going to watch it. Hey, let's get Marcy. Yeah. She won't like it. She hates everything. She likes it. Hey, Marcy. CBS this morning. Breakfast for your head. It's the dawning of a new age in television. An event of epic magnitude. Because this December 11th, CBS goes where no network has gone before. With all these stars and all these shows, it can only be called big. CBS is bigger than ever on Detroit 62. In a TV2, we'll be carrying Fox's national favorites, like Melrose Place and NFL Football, plus more news, and some syndicated favorites, like Donahue and Real Stories of the Highway Patrol. No, there is no change on your dial. We are Channel 2, and if you have cable, your cable number stays the same, period. While we will no longer carry CBS programs, TV2 will expand local news, including a 10 p.m. rather than an 11 p.m. newscast. And you'll see all of the same local news, weather, and sports faces you've come to know. Yes, you'll have all of TV2 and the best of Fox. We think this change is a positive one for our many local viewers. We hope you do, too. I'm Steve Antonetti. Write and tell us what you think, yes, at the same address you've always used, or call our special viewer hotline at 810-557-6013 for more information. Everybody, have you heard the news? Felt the rumble? Read the reviews? Like surprises? We got a few. Are you ready for a new attitude?
Gee, Daffy, I wonder who they're gonna get to pull the switch. Why me, indubitably, as I possess all of the talent around here. Welcome to the first night of the first network for the next century, UPN. Hi, I'm David Whitaker, General Manager of Channel 4. You've just witnessed something historic in local television. The end of Channel 4's 46-year association with the CBS Television Network and the exciting new beginning as a Fox Television Network affiliate. Starting tonight, we're building the largest news operation in Texas by expanding our live team coverage to six hours a day at times that fit your lifestyle, covering stories that are important to you and your hometown. Up next is the new News for Texas with old friends Clarice Tensley, John Criswell, Mike Berger, and Mike Ducey. You'll soon see that our commitment goes beyond a new set, new graphics, and new music. The next few days are going to be exciting as Channel 4 becomes Fox for Texas. We've set up a phone bank starting tomorrow with people ready to answer your questions, direct you to your favorite TV shows, and listen to your feedback. Come, join us now for the future, as we, and you, build the new Channel 4. From KDFW-TV in Dallas-Fort Worth, covering the state of Texas, this is News for Texas at 10. Good evening. I'm John Criswell. I'm Clarice Tinsley. Welcome to the new News for Texas. The big switch is here. Starting tonight, Channel 4 is a Fox affiliate. Instead of CBS shows, we'll be running Fox programming. It may seem complicated, but we're here to make it easy for you to understand. Jeff Curley joins us now with an overview of how all the affiliate switching is going to affect you. Jeff? I think one way to explain it simply is to say for the last 46 years here at Channel 4 and Master Control, we've been bringing in CBS programs. Then we've been turning that signal around and sending it out to TV sets all over North Texas. Well, starting now, we're going to be doing the same thing Thing, only with Fox programs. There's been a lot of talk about the channel change, but a lot of viewers are getting bad information, like Dana right. Mathis. It must be going out of business. You don't know why they're doing it? You think Channel 4 is going out of business? Uh-huh. Oh, we're becoming Fox. Oh, y'all going, oh, Channel 11 going out of business, huh? No, no. No, Dana, nobody's going out of business. The only thing that's happening is that Channel 4 will no longer be showing CBS programs. We'll be a Fox affiliate from now on. And Channel 11 will be the new home of CBS. Brent McClure knew that much, but he figured that meant everybody at Channel 4 had to move over to Channel 11. Switching studios, you obviously move over there. Gaylord Morgan heard that Channel 4 and Channel 11 were consolidating. It's one station. Yeah. Like Channel 4 and Channel 11 were merging or something? Yes, merging together, you know, and just going to make one, one news uh, station. News 4 Texas. No, we're not merging, we're not moving. The only thing that's happening is you may have to switch to another channel to find your favorite shows. Right now, Channel 4 carries CBS programs like 60 Minutes. Channel 11 carries syndicated reruns like The Cosby Show. And Channel 33 airs Fox programs like The X-Files. After the switch, 4 will be Fox, 11 will be CBS, and Channel 33 will be an independent station carrying mostly syndicated reruns. Obviously, it's going to take some getting used to. Channel 4 has been CBS since the station signed on the air in 1949. Back then, we were known as KRLD. KRLD TV studios in Dallas right now. 
CBS and Channel 4 have worked closely together over the years, from Kennedy to Colleen to Koresh. But while CBS has the history, most would agree Fox has the momentum. I'm Pat Summerall. First, Fox shocked the sports world by outbidding CBS for the rights to broadcast NFL games and even convinced the CBS team of Madden and Summerall to come over. Then last year, Fox engineered a deal to switch 12 major TV stations, most of them CBS, over to Fox, the largest one being KDFW. Fox provides us with two hours of primetime programming a night, um, plus weekend sports, which of course includes the Dallas Cowboys. Um, and uh, with a traditional network like CBS, they provided us with uh, uh, more than the majority of viewing hours uh, from the network. So with all this extra local programming time now, you can count on a lot more news on Channel 4, a lot more sports, and until the viewers sort it out, a lot of confusion. And what is 8 going to switch to? They're not switching. Oh, well, they need to. Everybody else is making the change. <laughs> Once again, we, we want to recap tonight's big switch. KDFW is now officially a Fox station. Your favorite CBS shows can no longer be seen on Channel 4, but your News 4 Texas team isn't going anywhere. Instead, you're going to see a lot more of us because we're expanding our coverage and we're strengthening our commitment. But we know this is still very confusing for many viewers, so we're setting up a toll-free viewer hotline that will be opening up tomorrow, and we'll be giving out that phone number tomorrow when the phone lines are up and running. John and Clarice? <laughs> big hand toss. Ah, well, hey, this is a big night for it us. Sure it is. really is our last time to bring you the nine o'clock news now beginning tomorrow at 5 30 we have a brand new look and a brand new affiliation by midnight we become cbs tomorrow we're going to bring you an exciting and fresh approach to news complete with a new set no more of this set it's old gone <laughs> new music and a new format but if you're still confused about all the station switching and i know a lot of you are just stay right where you are stay tuned mm -hmm, that's right in a few minutes we'll air are you ready for this it really helps clear things up so that's it. Good night, and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Paula, just think about all the people you've motivated to get up in the morning. I mean, how do you do it? So you want to know all my secrets sure. now that you're moving to 11 News at 6 a.m.? Well, remember to always be yourself yeah. and then be first on every story. Uh, that sounds simple enough. Well, they look that way. She's good. So 11 News this morning here on Channel 11, the new eye of Texas. Coming soon, Dave moves to Channel 11, the new Eye of Texas. Why are we moving? We lost our lease! Celebrating 40 years of friendship. You don't have to wait until 10 o'clock for complete local news. Because News 4 Texas hits prime time. News 4 Texas at 9. A full hour of local news. More in-depth investigations. More detailed reports. More complete coverage of your hometown. Texas is a big state. Someone has to cover it. News for Texas at 9, beginning July 2nd.
This is really a great day. Today, we're coming here with a pretty historic announcement. This is truly a partnership whose time has come. We are here today to announce the creation of a brand new broadcast network, one that brings together the assets and resources of two great media entities, CBS Corporation and Time Warner. Something big. Yo, ready. 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 Yo, ready, steady, go. You guys ready to be stars? For real? Much better. That's huge. We're not gonna have a hug or anything, are we? I guess you can never be certain what's gonna happen tomorrow. The right leather jacket would have turned me from this guy into this guy. That leather jacket is cool. Let's hang out. It seems I'm finished posing. I'm hot blooded. Damn it. It can only go uphill from here, I guess. <laughs> I'll go if you're scared. Flip the damn coin. Put down the magazine and get off the an older man asked me out. Okay, look what, in his 50s? 60s? 70s? Oh, hell no! So, ladies, welcome to Runway 101. I want to see passion right now. Let's do it together, Janice. No, you want to see passion? You're lucky I'm back in your life, right? You're good. Did you ever just feel the need to like kiss or make out? Not with me, obviously, not with me. Take her out that door or I'm gonna put her through the window. Shh. Should I hide in the bedroom like a hooker? Perfect. Think I've got a future in the biz? Did you know that you're my hero? I have a headache. I know a lot of guys who want to own the world. I haven't met very many who actually want to save it. That's 49 cents of spilt milk. Somebody gonna drink this milk.
faces I remember.